Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see, it is a cold day. I've got my chickens in the background and I have been receiving downloads all morning to the point that I can't, I generally can't keep up with them. Okay, no, I'm not gonna say that I can't keep up with them. I, I okay, I'll be honest. I haven't put them as a full priority. Um, usually I would carry around like a journal and I would write these things down. So I'm going to do my best to recommit to my promise to the divine that when I receive messages that I write them down, I put a priority and I post it. So thanks for calling me out spirit. But anyways, <laughs> welcome back you guys. Happy Monday or whatever it is that you are hanging out with me. It is a chilly day here in Florida, chilly for Florida standards, but I kind of like being bundled up. I received this message. It's very, it's, it, I sat with this. I sat with this because I, I, I always take it very seriously when I receive any type of download. Um, I try to find who it's for, number one. I try to find the source. And I also try to find details. This one threw me for a loop because I genuinely got the sense that it was for me. And as I sat with it, I was like, so why would you want me to then share it with the world? Why would you want me to share it with people who could hear it if it was directly for me? And then right before I, because I kept feeling it, like share it, share it, share it. I started realizing, like spirit really made it clear to me that I'm not the only one on the face of this earth, even though I think I'm the only one in my little my little corner of the globe I'm not the only one on the face of this earth and that there's someone who even though this message is for me to share it with you guys because it someone can relate to it in a way the same way that I have so it's kind of like a two-for-one because there are a lot of messages that I get for myself and there's a lot of messages that I get for you guys so um, the message was very like it was this sense that there was someone or some things or some ones more than it actually I get a strong sense that it's more than one thing like it's more than one thing one energy there's a ton of different energies like that's I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it real it's like a ton of different energies and every single one of those energies ha ha wants to have access to you they see your light they see your potential they see that what you have to offer they want to work with you they want to be your friend they want to be in your space essentially that's what it is they want they want to be in your space it's an honor because it shows the beauty of your light it shows the the beauty of your intention it shows your heart if it wasn't a good thing people wouldn't want it so bad even people who normally don't find themselves wanting to put themselves in a, a position to make them uncomfortable to make themselves uncomfortable will because something about you makes people pull towards you and hear you and listen to you and they want to gain access to your energy at the same time I, I heard the word doubt so at the same time you are the divines the divines first and foremost and that means that you don't belong to those people. You don't belong to anyone but the divine. You don't belong to anyone but yourself. And if you are someone who's moving with love and intention and authenticity, at least for me, a lot of what I do is in alignment with what the divine asked me to do for my life. And I move in alignment with that. And sometimes that means that there's availability and there's sometimes that means that I'm completely off limits because I shouldn't be accessible to everyone and neither should you I get this strong sense that every single person it's like keeping your circle small but every single person that not that doesn't have access or can't gain access to you in your small circle is almost deeply offended by it like it's almost as if this energy of like who does she think she is why does she feel like she can do this without me, she needs me, I need her, I feel so called to her, I feel so called that I should gain access to her because my energy is the same and I have good intentions. But the truth is, is that that is a violation and no one deserves access to you. 
if they did gain access to you at any point in your life, they don't need to continue to have access to you. If you are prioritizing your peace and your health and your happiness, and it's, in, well, in order for you to do that, you're gonna have to shut the door and close your back and turn, turn, your, turn your attention away from the things that just want to gain access to you for the sake of they just love your light. And I don't see this as a, me a message that's hard for you. I see it as a message that's gonna be hard for those who want to have access to you. And Spirit is telling you or reassuring you to number one, be aware. Not to go looking for these people or looking for these messages or looking for whatever it is because they're talking. I, I'm getting a lot of message, a lot of messages about people talking, talking to themselves, talking to the divine, praying, putting a lot of intention out there, saying, listen, she has something I want, and universe, spirit, align our path so that we can come together. And if it's not, I, they're not coming from a bad place, but if you're not protecting yourself, if you're not spiritually protecting yourself, the influence of all of those prayers and all of those intentions and all of that outside energy could maybe start to infiltrate your safety bubble, your sacred space, and you may even begin to see it, hear it, or maybe even think, consider, consider to turn in that direction and look, or maybe you may even feel like you need to address it. And I, I think that the reason why and I'm still kind of formulating exactly like spirit, what is the path? And I, I believe that there's gonna be more messages here. But I think that the what spirit is saying today is that they just want you to be aware that there are more than one energies that want to, that are trying to touch you, like that are trying to reach you. Those energies, even if they're positive people and they have good intentions, the root of it may not necessarily be from a good space or a space that might be good for you and spirit wants you to minimally know that it exists so that you can continue to pray set intention light candles to protect yourself from even being more aware of it than you already are and it seems like if you're like me you are bare minimum aware of it like it, you may hear about it you may sense but you don't even necessarily know, okay, who is this? Like, or who are these people? Cause it's not just one person, it's more than one. It's a ton of different energies. It could be like banks that wanna work with you. It could be like for me, like all, to, all like girl, any, any, any area of my life. Like it could be people that he heard about my reputation and want to be my friend, want to work with me, want to talk to me, want to share want to give me an offer that they think is so amazing. And the truth is, is like, I know my path. I know my intention. I know where my life is leading me. I know what peace looks like for me. I know what I need to keep a peaceful life and a healthy life. And in order for that to happen, I don't like to have access. I don't like having people have access. Oh, hi. Hi, <laughs> you're so cute. Hi. This little squirrel is right above my head. You're not afraid of me? So distracted right now. Good for you. He's like literally looking directly at me like, or I think it's a she. What you got? Okay, <laughs> I'm back. No, I'm not. Okay, now I am. All right, so, yeah, bare minimum. <laughs> bare minimum. Um, I think the message today is for spiritual people right now, or just, you don't even have to be spiritual, girl. Like, this could just be your situation. Like, there's a lot of people that are just like, you, like, let's say, let's say you make straight A's in your work, and you've got all these, like, different schools that want to offer you things. But what if you don't even decide, like, yeah, you might be making straight A's and you might be getting all these scholarships. But what if you decide that college is not your thing? And just because all these offers are coming through, you don't need to accept any of them. What if you just want to live on a lake and not go to school? What if you want to do homesteading? Like me, like that's what I'm doing. I don't, I don't, I've never been someone who needed a lot of attention. The only reason why I even created my YouTube channel was because 
the clients that I was working for that I felt called to or what working towards the people that I felt called to help I just thought that if I created a YouTube channel that it would cut down me having to having to repeat so much information to the same people asking me the same questions which I wanted to get that information to them so it made sense it was more efficient for me to share information in one concise way so that I wasn't leaving anything out for the people that I was trying to help. And as things happen, when you're just moving in your ease and your flow, things grow and that's where you're at right now. It doesn't mean that you need to continue to grow in the way that people expect of you or that, you know, like what if you're like, you, you, you get to make the rules. You can still live in your purpose and not be available to everyone or miss the most popular person on the face of the earth. Sometimes it's cool just to hang out with your chickens and learn what their favorite nail polish is. Do they like glitter today? Are they like, do they like the red nail polish? Do they like the lavender nail polish? Because my chickens love nail polish. Random thoughts with Jess. Anyways guys, we're hanging out right now and I'm telling you this message because Spirit told me to share it with you. Um, and you don't need to necessarily do anything outside of you spirit just wants you to be aware that there's a lot of energies here whoever this message is for you you and I can or clearly can relate to it there's a lot of people a lot of things a lot of areas that everyone is trying to draw you towards them everyone thinks that what they have not to say that it's not significant but everyone thinks that what they have to offer is your cup of tea and that you need to hear it that you need to see it and that you need to accept the proposal or that you need to look in their direction and that you need to you need them and the truth is is that the only thing that you need is your health your happiness your peace of mind connection with the divine source and a connection with your higher self that's all you need anything else is usually just noise I also want to say that it is beautiful to keep your bubble small and to keep your space clean. Cleanliness is really close to godliness and a part of keeping things clean is not like making your home spotless or anything like that but also keeping your energy and your aura clean. This means that if people are trying to gain access to you, their fingers, their intentions can be muddy, even if they're not intentionally trying to be. It just, anything can get muddy. Think about like a watercolor. Someone says that lavender is their favorite color. Someone else thinks that light blue is their favorite color. Another person thinks that pale yellow is their color. There's a theme here. I guess it's like Easter. <laughs> I, I brought up all the pastels just now. Um, but if we put all those beautiful colors that are individually, that are beautiful individually together, it's going to get very muddy. Not to say that brown or black or white is not, well, not white here, so to speak, isn't a beautiful color, because they are. Actually, those are my favorite colors, brown and black. But my, my message is, is that if all of these colors are coming in, it can get muddy, you know? It can kind of mix, things will change. And keep your energy and your aura clean. Keep your circle small. You don't need to arm yourself up with candles because I did not get a sense that you're not spiritually protected or that you need to up your protection. I don't see that. The fact that you are unaware of it or the fact that spirit is just saying, listen, I just need you to be aware of it, shows me that whatever protection is that you've already called in has enforced it enough that you might not even be aware. You might not even have seen who, who all these things are trying to come in and gain access to you. I actually see people getting very, very angry and very bitter and very jealous and like insecure. A lot of feelings, I, I just, I got this sense of real strong clarity. You guys have to see this girl. He or she, it's a she, is literally approaching me right now. Hi, 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 say hi. Hi, oh, he ran, or she. Oh, good morning. Okay, guys, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've never seen you so confident with me. I am so distracted, but like, come on. What a baby. Do you want seeds? All right, I'm gonna go give this squirrel some seeds. Clearly, I'm raising like a wild bird, chickens, my animals, and now this squirrel is asking me for a snack, so of course I'm gonna go provide. Um, but yeah, guys, you don't need to protect yourself or arm yourself any more than you clearly already have. The fact that you are unaware of it shows that you are being protected, but spirit is, at least for right now, saying, listen, 
be aware be aware that there's a lot of people and a lot of energy is that like the more that you don't the more that you won't look in their direction the more that they're getting offended and the more that they're getting angry and it's more of a signal of their own demons and their own darkness and their own battles and their own truth and everybody's trying to find their path and direction in life and some people feel like they're entitled to you your friendship your connection your conversation your attention and that is simply not the case and i say that with love and light there's no it's no hard feelings it's no bad vibes it's just even if they even if you would benefit from it like still like it's okay to not say yes to every single opportunity or say yes to everyone and everything it's okay all right i clearly am distracted i also have another message that i want to share with you guys that is not mine very clearly was for someone else and i'm going to record that for you right now after i feed this squirrel <laughs> happy monday guys i'll see you probably during astro chat live monday nights at 7 p.m eastern standard time i love you i'll talk to you later okay, bye